Hi everyone. So I have had a lot of readers ask me how I organize my coupons and what kind of coupon binder I use. So I'm going to do a video to show you my coupon binder and how I do it. So this is my binder and I got it from Walmart and I believe I paid $10 for it. One thing I like about this binder is that it zips closed, which is nice because when you're at the store and you're holding your binder um, or you're carrying it into the store, you don't want your coupons to fall out. And with the other binders, sometimes they fall out. So, another thing I like about this is that it has a lot of zippers, which is nice because you always want pockets to put things in. Um, I find myself putting like the ads in this big pocket on the outside, the store ads, so when I get to the store I have them there and they're ready to go. I also have a calculator that I put in there. Um, I'm always finding that I'm using a calculator at the store, trying to figure out deals and whatnot. So, this is the inside. And it also has more pockets, as you can see. Um, this one's nice because it has this little pocket right here that has a zipper that makes it nice to put, um, oh, and it's see-through, so you can see what you're putting in there. And if you lose something, you can find it easily. But I put everything in here from, um, like I have the Amazon diaper coupon codes in here. Um, I put like just random coupons I get in the mail that I know I want to use. Um, I kind of just stash stuff in there. I also have my rebates in there um, from Rite Aid. And I put those all together with my receipts so that I make sure I get credited for them. So, I don't know, it's just kind of like a little stash area. And I put a pen right here. And then it also has this pocket. And what I do here is I have my envelopes here. And um, what I do with these envelopes is when I go into a store, I don't want to, sometimes I don't want to take in the big binder. So I'll take in my envelopes and um, for each store. And when I figure out my coupons on Sunday, I put my, the coupons I'm going to use for that store in that envelope and paper clips so it's all organized. So. Another thing that I like is that it has this pencil holder, which you can always add to any binder that you have. And I put paper clips in here mainly um, because I like to use paper clips. And so when I'm at the store handing over my coupons, I like to pull the paper clips off and be able to just stash them in here so they don't get lost or who knows what. So then my front page. Now what I use here, these are baseball card holders and you get them from Walmart and they're kind of in a weird spot in Walmart. They're like in, in the middle of the store, in the front, in between the cashiers. So you might have to ask for them if, to have somebody tell you where they're at because I couldn't find them the first time. So what I put in the front are important um, coupons that I want to use and any kind of like a special store coupon. So for instance, I have the $5 off 25 from Rite Aid. I just have like a stack of those that I put there. I also have my up rewards so that I don't forget to use them or, and so that I don't lose them. And then I have like a Petco card here that can only, or sorry, PetSmart. They can only be used at PetSmart and Victoria's Secret, which can only be used at Victoria's Secret. So kind of just like store coupons and cash register rewards, Catalinas, things like that that you don't want to forget about. And then I start out with my tabs. So you can put whatever kind of tabs you want here. You can um, label them depending on the kind of things that you buy. So I'll go through my labels and you might want to change it to what you like to purchase for your family. So my first tab here is beverages. Now in here I put anything from like I have the 7-Up, I want to get one free coupon, I have Dole Juice, I have the Insure, um, any kind of beverages that you might get. Then my next tab is cereal and breakfast. So what I put in there is anything like I have oatmeal and um, just kind of cereal, anything that you would want to eat for breakfast. And one thing I wanted to tell you is that my binder is, is kind of desolate right now because I actually just cleaned it out last night which doesn't take long at all. All I do is go through each page, um, sitting on the couch watching TV or anything. You can go through each page and you can easily see when the coupons expire. 
then you just pull them out and throw them away. Well, I did that last night, and so my binder is needing more coupons in it, but what I like to do is I do my binder a little bit differently. What I do is I take my coupons and for my Sunday newspaper, after I clip them, I actually keep all of the coupons, or at least probably about 98% of them, and but I'm not going to put 98% of coupons in my binder because that would just be ridiculous. So what I do is I only put the important ones in here, the ones that I know that I'm going to use, and um, the, the ones that I, my family uses a lot or anything that I think is a good coupon, I put those in my binder. And then I store the rest of them, um, which you can see on my website how I clip them and how I store them. But that's why there's not very many in here, but I do need to fill it up with last Sunday's newspaper, and which I'm going to do later. So anyway, my next tab is baking, and anything can go in here that has to do with baking, so cakes, um, spices, any kind of like Betty Crocker frosting, anything like that would go in that section. Then I've got boxed items. So here it, gets, it can get a little confusing because... Um, like for instance, I have, uh, well I have, well I do have the Fiber One coupon, and some people would think that those could possibly go under breakfast, but I figure that when I'm at the store and I'm looking for the coupon, I'm going to find it a lot easier in a category that says boxed items. Um, so I just put anything in here, like I have Ritz crackers, um, see, wheat thins, I have Fiber One bars, Nature Valley bars, anything that comes in a box like that. And then my next one is canned items. Now that's good for SpaghettiOs, tomatoes, well, mm -hmm. no, just like SpaghettiOs and um, any kind of sauce that you use. The next, sorry, any kind of canned items that you use. The next one is sauces and condiments. And this one would be good for like dressings, craft dressings, salad dressings, um, peanut butter, so things like that that are sauces, even like tomato sauce, which I guess you could put under canned items. So you have to decide which one you'd want to use, which one you think that you would remember in the store. My next one is snacks, candy, and chips, but it's more like snacks and candy. And what I put in here um, are things like fruit roll-ups, raisinets, Tic Tacs, and um, let's see, I've got Hershey Kisses, I've got Trident gum, anything like that that's a snack or a candy. And the next one is dairy. So I'm going to put yogurt, eggs, butter, things like that. So, um, like I have, yeah, yogurt, eggs, and butter, cheese, anything like that. My next one is meat. So this one's pretty easy. You're going to put anything like um, lunch meat, hot dogs, chicken. I've got sausages here, and I guess sausages could go under breakfast again, but that's another one of those things that you'll probably want to look for it in the category of meats. It's probably going to be easier to remember that the sausage is under meats and not breakfast. The next one is frozen. This one's easy as well because you're going to put things like TV dinners, ice creams, desserts, pizzas, Anything like that that you would find in your frozen section. Toaster strudels. The next one is personal care and cos cosmetics. So that would be like toiletry, cosmetics, lotions. Now this one seems to get pretty full. So what I do is um, I just put, let's see, I put like feminine hygiene products, soaps, flaws, razors, um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, anything like that, and it does get full fast. So that's one you're going to want to have a lot of um, inserts in. The next one is something that everyone may not use, <coughs> but it would be babies and pets. Now I have both. I have babies and I have pets, so I like this one. But for instance, you might want to use um, like Met, use this section for just plain medicine because I know we get a lot of coupons for medicine. Then the last section that I have is cleaning and medicine. 
And things I put here are, um, I put, we get a lot of candle things, Glade and Febreze and all that. So what I put is um, like laundry detergent, any kind of a medicine, Glade, scented candles, Ziploc bags, anything like that. So those are my sections and that's how I do my coupon book. Now one thing that I don't like about this this binder, and it's probably going to happen with any binder that you get, is that it seems to get, th this part right here got bent or something, because what happens is it's not closing shut, so when I'm trying to flip through my pages, it makes it kind of hard because they get caught up on these. So what I did is I used tape, and I taped, I taped them closed, I just wrapped the tape around it, but the only problem with that is then you can't open it to add more inserts. But I guess you would only need to do that if you're going to add more baseball card inserts. So what I would recommend is to add your baseball card insert first in each section. And do a couple of them in each section until they get full. And if they do get full, you can always um, take the tape off and re-tape re it after you add stuff to it. One more thing that I like to do, oh, and if you have any tips at all on how to fix this or or any binders that don't do this, let me know because I will post it on here and I would be happy to use any tips to fix this problem. So my last thing here is a good tip that I like. Now I just have, right here I have my um, like frequent shopper cards, so maybe like an Albertsons card, Smith's card. Um, Rite Aid Wellness card, any kind of your shopper cards, what I like to do is I like to put them, I used to have them on a keychain and then my keychain broke, so right now I have them on a paper clip, but you can put them on it just like one of those keychains that you can take on and off easily, and you just stick them right here. So that way when you're in the store, you have your shopper card available and accessible really easily, so you don't have to go digging in your wallet to pull it out, and you don't lose them that way. So, anyway, this is my coupon book, or binder, and it's worked really well for me, and I like it a lot. Um, so, let me know if you guys have any tips, though, or any questions at all, and be sure to visit my website where I post deals daily, um, hot deals and good deals, and teach you how to use coupons, and the website is hotcouponmamas.com. Thank you, guys. Bye.